Hello everyone. So this is another example where I'm, I have created one Kafka producer with the asynchronous executor service. So the benefit with the asynchronous executor service is like uh, it is you know it will make your producer uh, bean class completely asynchronous. Uh, so whenever there will be any request you know for this producer a bean, it will create a, you know another uh, one new thread for producing the masses. So it, it is not going to, you know, wait the wait to complete the first uh, message produce, uh, you know, uh, to produce the message. So what happened is like, for example, you are getting a lot of messages at the same time and your application is, you know, synchronous. That means your uh, messages, you know, uh, there will be queue of messages, which is going to, uh, hamper your performance so in this case because we created a synchronous executor bean here with the you know core pool size of three that means at least it will create the three uh thread uh independent thread you know to brought uh, to produce the messages and maximum could be the three uh, i mean i have said that three but you could uh, change is as per you know your need and the queue capacity is 100 that means at a time at least 100 threads can wait in case you know these uh, pool and the core core pool and the max pool size is not enough then it uh, 100 of messages can wait for the, their chance in any case so the the idea behind is that for example if you are running a ec2 instance ec2 instance right and it has four cores that means ideally you know uh, if you go with the intel processor what happens is usually uh, you you can create you know uh, multiply by two threads. I mean uh, where, the number of cores is multiplied by two is the number of you know uh, threads at a time you could uh, use in any processor. But sometimes what happens is uh, based on the processor and the architecture it it vary. So to you know to get the advantage of your uh, hardware configuration, you could actually create these thread pool and it will make your application completely asynchronous. So I have configured it. Uh, everything is same except this uh, bean configuration. And I am just annotating here with the asynchronous annotation. Otherwise everything is fine. Everything is same. There is no other difference. So I'm just going to run it. So you could create the thread, which is you know, to know you know which thread is actually currently producing the message so you could print that thread name uh, we have three threads so it could be like thread like for example thread one asking thread one asking thread two like something like that so not sure if we do it because uh, we have I mean number of requests that we are going to is lesser than what it could handle but let's try
is running. So let create an object of view. I'm going to call it first. So the digger point is here. It's connecting with the because this is the first time it is running, so it is connecting with the Kafka. So it is a bit slower, but once it will execute for the first time, it will always be faster. So it is the asynchronous thread one if you could see it here. So I will remove the debug point from here and then see what it will print. Still asynchronous thread one. Let me hit it not many times so that the thread will get some chance. No, because still the number of requests is so low that it is not, you know, okay, thank you. Uh, we'll meet in next.